Greetings. Brother Polite has used my video, he has played it again yesterday, and that's a good thing. That's a very good thing, actually, because people will get to know about some very significant information that was shared for so long. When I say yesterday, in America, it should have been Thursday, June 20th. By now, it's Friday, 21st of June, in the morning in France, where I'm currently residing. The video he shared is the one um, that I called Shabazz Malediction. You will have the link in the description box. It should be the fourth link. Most of, the, most of the videos you have the link so you can see it in full in full context when I say in full I mean that particular part about the kinky hair and broad nose and thick lips being the essence of ugliness after we rebelled against God so brother Polite played that when he was supposed to debate the Nation of Islam member on Sanella's platform the Nation of Islam member back down at the last minute uh, the same day, about the time when he was supposed to start, that's when he sent a text message talking about there was a protocol and he can't make it. And this is nothing new because for those who are up on game back in 2011, around, yes, I think it was 2011, Dr. Wesley Mohammed, PhD, challenged yours truly, myself, Shaka and Dugu Kemet, to a debate. He did that challenge me publicly, I accepted the, the challenge, I accepted the debate, and then Wesley Muhammad backed down and ran like a coward. It's nothing new, it's their style, that's how they get down. I just want to say one thing for the record, this is not a plea, this is not a request, there's no obligation to that, but Young Farrell also used the video, of course it's not me talking in the video as far as I can, but I went at great length. To acquire that video and when I uploaded it back then uh, my video got snatched because the Final Call Inc. made a copyright claim on YouTube for a three minute video a three minute excerpt and we know this whole lectures out there but we know why and I was attacked severely for speaking out against anti-black and anti-african teaching and I just want to say that since also young Farrell used it and our brother Polak used it there's a link that shows on my video. That's why I said my video. I uploaded it back then. There's also the link to the Twitter that I was using back then, Edutainer. It would be good. It would be appreciated if you just say, well, you know, it's that brother, Shaka Ndugu Kemet, afrostyle.com, A-F-R-O-S-T-Y-L-Y.com. If you can just say Shaka Ndugu Kemet or Ma'at Forever, which is my uh, current YouTube account, it would be appreciated, really. Because that was a long time ago. That was many years ago that I brought that up. And um, it's still good though to see that years later, so many years later, my brothers are talking about issues that I addressed back then. And just because I was living in France and I was not, uh, I don't have the nationality of the United States of America, then I was slandered and all that. People talked about, yeah, why is he worried about this so much? I mean, you know, the Black Means Death team. They went really hard, they slandered me, insulted my mother, my father, they slandered his videos, accused me of being an agent, and um, snatched my account, flagged my videos, that's what they did, I had 9,000 subscribers, and um, back then I had two different accounts, one with like 3,000 subscriber, subscribers, the other one about 4,000 subscribers, both of them got snatched, so I had to start over again, and start over again, you know what I'm saying? So just thinking about that, it would be appreciated, you know, if you just let it be known. Because, for example, there's another thing that I used to do back then, is, uh, and I saw Osama Tep doing, showing the artifacts, the primary source, um, depicting the, uh, what we call the Asiatics. Because some people used to think that, you know, or say that the uh, Asiatics were black, that the uh, Hebrews were black. Um, Simon Hoten used to teach that, but he took him like seven years to catch up. Now he did that anyway. I showed it in one of my videos uh, entitled Simon Hoten no longer claims that the Hebrews were black. I think that's the title that I've put. And um, so that, that's, that's what I was doing back then. Back then I guess it wasn't good enough because remember one thing, the video is called White Semites Black Awakening. I went to the National Library in France 
I showed you many artifacts and I usually show you artifacts also live from museums in England, in France, you understand? Different countries, you understand what I'm saying? And when I did that, the Black Means Death team, right? How I used to nickname them, the Amen Ra Squad, you know, your brothers talk Black African power, but they were, they were teaching, believing and saying that Africans are living a jungle life. That's when I split. I wasn't a member, but I was like a honorary member. I was offered to become a member of the squad, but I told the host that because I was living in France and every time I had to wake up at like three, four in the morning to be sharing the information, I don't want to um, pledge something if I'm not there on a consistent um, basis. You understand what I'm saying? So the people who back then used to listen to the radio broadcast know that I was a regular and I put in a lot of work, a lot of work. You understand what I'm saying? So when I did this video, White Samas Black Awakening, they attacked me crazy. They attacked me. They made several video, uh, radio shows against me. But anyway, that's the past. The host did apologize for uh, teaching, saying, believing, and defending that Africans are living in jungle life, amongst other things. And, and okay, that, that was just for the record. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really happy. I'm really happy that brothers are catching up and getting the information. That's why, once again, there's no obligation for polite to acknowledge me, but it will be appreciated. It's the same with Wang Faro. There's no obligation, but it will be appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think your brothers went through losing your account, losing your subscribers. That was years of work. You understand? I, rem I, I mentioned 2011. We are in 2019. That was eight years ago. You understand what I'm saying? It takes a lot of time to build subscribers. It takes a lot of time. Every so often, people will be like, hey, I'm glad I found this account. I, I, I lost track of you because you can't get snatched all of a sudden and people just don't know where to find you anymore. You understand what I'm saying? And I got really, really attacked. I got attacked. Even here, I got attacked. I even got physically attacked. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It was an attempt more than anything. Don't need to brag on anything, but I was by myself. I had my own, you know what I'm saying? Gave more blows. It's not a problem. But people don't understand. Something might be cool to say now, but back then it wasn't just cool to say. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, here in France, they're even defending rapists and pedophiles. Like, it's all good. That's what they, they've been doing and they're still doing to this day. You know? But anyway, that's seven minutes. I'm glad that the people have the information. And uh, be safe, try to be healthy, take care of your family if you can, the best you can, I mean. And that's it. Take care, brothers and sisters. Oh, yes, before I finish, there's three videos I recommend that you watch. They are all, all three of them are on YouTube. Kemet and Ma'at, Deception of Asiatic Black Men. You will see about those so-called Asiatic Black Men organizations that they derive from Freemasonry. I've made that work years ago also, you know? And it's interesting because Brother Polite talked about the Shriners, the nobles of the mystery, mystic shrine. I addressed that. I went into details about that. And I don't, I don't mean to say that, like, uh, um, I have a copyright or it's exclusive me. I, I'm ex the, the exclusively uh, entitled to talk about a subject matter. No, that, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that it goes into details. Polite was just talking. I showed the, 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 the links, the, 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 the emblems, um, the, the quotes. Uh, you, you, have the, you see the founders of the Asiatic Black Men Movement. Anyway, it's going to be less than not 10 minutes because it's 9 minutes already. So the first video came at my other second one, Deception of Asiatic Black Men. And the third one, White Semites Black Awakening. Trust me, you will save a lot of time, maybe years, with the falsehood that is taught amongst Pan-Africans in the so-called conscious community. Because they say, believe, teach, and defend that Africans are living a jungle life, that Africans are not civilized, that black means death, that black people are cursed, that, well, that's why we have kinky hair, broad nose, and thick lips, because this is the essence of ugliness after we rebelled against God. All right? And I always disagree with that. I was firm on that. And I'm glad now, years later, that the people are on board disagreeing with something that we can never agree with. Disagreeing is not fighting. Hotel, brothers and sisters. Hotel, senut. Hena, senut.